offered the shops when rebuilt to the victims at a subsidized and affordable rate in order not to disenfranchise the original owners of the shops. It was a community market and the status as a community market must be maintained. The reason for this motion, for this prayer, sir, is because most other markets, markets have been getting burnt down in Abuja, and after they are burnt down, they, they are rebuilt under some sort of very commercial arrangement that excludes the masses and the original owners of the market. These, I would believe, are some of the causes of insecurity in the federal capital territory. I so submit. We already had and rebuilt the market, offer the market to the original owners and the other batches. So we do not know who the original owners are at subsidized rates. And then after maintaining it, we are here, it was a community market and its status as a community market must be maintained. So why do we use government money? to build community market, maintain the status, and hand over to the community. So what I'm saying in the sense is that the prayer is faulty, and uh, but is anybody who wants to second this prayer? Yes, Natasha, you want to second the prayer? Yes, sir, I should, Senator Eriti Kingibe. If you're asking um, for the, if your question has to do with the disbursement or the utilization of government funds, in rebuilding a community market. Sir, the people are the government. The communities are the government. So it's like the people using their money to their own advantage. So I stand to second the motion as amended by Senator Eti King Give, sir. No, the motion we are set. The matter for discussion shall, if possible, be referred to the President of the Senate before commencement of the day's sitting. And the President of the Senate shall refuse to allow the claim unless he is satisfied that the matter is definite and urgent. Order 51. Notice shall not be dispensed with in the case of which a motion or in respect of any other proceeding for which notice is required, except with the consent of the President of the Senate and the general assent of the Senators present. Have you referred the matter to the President of the Senate? I have referred it to you, sir, two days ago. Oh, two days ago? Yes, you told me to bring it. Oh, okay, what was it about? It was about the fire in Cairo. Yeah, the Swedish colleagues, she mentioned the tragedy that befell to the attention of the distinguished uh, senators. Is it the view of the Senate that she be allowed to proceed with this motion? Those in support say aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. We may proceed. And the need for safer public places. My name is Senator Ireti Kingibe, representing the Federal Capital Territory. Note that on June 27, 2024, a fire outbreak occurred at the Karume Market, Abuja. This incident left scores of traders in tears after goods worth billions of naira were destroyed. Eyewitnesses say that the fire occurred late at night when the market had closed for business. It raised almost all the shops and destroyed foodstuffs, electronics, cosmetics, clothes, among other consumables, and non-consumable items worth billions of naira. Further notes that fire outbreaks have become one too many already, with attendant losses running to billions of naira. In the last six months, there have been several incidences of this nature. <clears throat> From Idumata, Idumata Market area in Lagos to the police shopping complex, Mararaba Nasrara State, to the Yang Katako Market region, Lemu area of Fede local government, Kano State, just to mention a few. Aware that these fire outbreaks had all the same causative factors, which hinged on building safety regulations that were inadequate or not adhered to or outrightly not in place. Further aware that as fire outbreaks in Nigeria have risen to national attention in recent years, causing great loss of economy, loss of lives of our people, as well as destruction of critical sectors of the nation's economy and infrastructure. If this is allowed to continue, we will continue to record huge economic losses, loss of lives, as well as environmental hazards that will have an overall negative impact on the lives of the people we serve.
concerned that this state of unpreparedness in safety management cuts across private homes, government buildings, open parks and gardens, markets, shopping complexes, warehouses, sawmills, fuel tankers, gas and fuel stations, educational establishments, shops, clubs, hospitals, hotels and restaurants, thereby exposing ourselves to, un to avoidable mishaps. Accordingly, resolved that to urge the federal government through its Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management, Social Development, and the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to urgently make emergency palliative and relief provisions available to cushion the effects of the fire on these victims. Urge the FCDA and AMAC to offer the rebuild shops to the victims at a subsidized and affordable rate in order not to disenfranchise the original owners of the shops. It was a community market and its status as a community market must be maintained. Mandate the communities on environment and legislative compliance to ensure strict compliance with this resolution and report back to the Senate sir, in four weeks. I so pray. I represent Jigawa Southwest people. Mr. President, I support the motion submitted by Senator Eric Kingibi and Fule, uh, and I urge that some palliative be rushed to the people affected by the fire. I so support. Thank you. Let's go into the prayers. Prayer one. Urge the federal government through its Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development with National Emergency Management Agency to urgently make emergency palliative reliefs available to cushion the effect of the fire on the victims. Those in support of prayer want to say aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. Prayer two. Urge the Federal Capital uh, Development Authority and AMAC. AMAC in this case may be the uh, central local government or uh, 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 area council to offer the rebuilt shops. Have they been rebuilt? Uh, so, but here you said uh, the rebuilt shops. Uh, uh, so we want to amend. Offer the rebuild market when rebuilt to the victims at the subsidized rate and thereafter maintain it as community market so that the original status will not be lost. Those in support of this motion as amended say aye. aye. Those again say nay. Additional prayer. The eyes have it. Additional prayer, yes. Now let's finish with this on environment and legislative compliance to ensure strict compliance with this resolution and report within four weeks. Uh, amendment, this is the area. Thank you, Mr. President. I am Ayah Abdullahi representing Kebinov. My menu of uh, building, adherence to building safety and building code. Hodge the statutory agency to enforce building code and safety rules.